So now I have my SharePoint project management app. I have my icon. I can store this somewhere else. Um, run it. Now I have my full power app running in app mode, no title bar. It's running perfectly. I can push this out to all the computers on my in my network, in my organization. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess. Uh, today I'm going to make this short and sweet. I want to show how you can run your Power App in app mode and make it look more like an application instead of having to go into your browser. So here we have a Power App and on my desktop I have Microsoft Edge and I've seen other people do this like in really complex ways they're writing all these all this code but let's just think about this simply imagine you have a, a shortcut here to Microsoft Edge now you can do Chrome if you want uh, but this is from Microsoft Edge when we open up the properties we can see the target here I'm gonna take my target and copy it over so that's what I did here I copied it over now this is how you run Microsoft Edge from command line so what we want to do is do dash dash and I don't think we need the new window we can just say in app mode run HTTPS Netflix.com so I'm just going to show you Netflix first and then we'll do do power apps so I'm going to take that and paste it over the target so now when I click on this shortcut it comes over it runs Netflix you can see there's no top bar navigation that's what we want now let's do power apps right all right, so I'm going to pull over Power Apps. We have my Power App here. We're going to get the link to my Power App. So in order to do that, you can go to your apps on the left side here. You go the three dots and then details, and you can see your web link here. All right, so I'm going to take that web link, and I'm going to pull it in right here where I wrote Netflix. Okay, so now I'm going to take this link, go to my shortcut, I'm going to paste it in. Okay, so now I'm going to load the the Power App and you notice that it's not full screen. So it's kind of running in app mode here. So let's go back to Power Apps, make a change. Now I'm not showing you how to do everything perfectly for your app. I'm giving you ideas. That's the idea of my channel. No one can really tell you how to do everything perfectly. But when you uncheck here lock aspect ratio, right? So this um automatically maintains the ratio between height and width to prevent distortion. I'm going to publish here and republish after taking off locking that aspect ratio. Okay, and then we have to wait about 30 seconds to a minute for it to republish. So I'll skip through that through my video. All right, so I'm going to run the app again, pull it over. We now have the full screen of the Power App. Now, next what I want to do, and I think a lot of you have seen this, is we want to hide the nav bar. Okay, so I'm going to go here, or I'll just do it in my notepad, and I'll say, and hide nav bar equal true. Okay, so I'm going to take this, pull it into my shortcut, and put it in the target. Click OK. Run it. Now, my Power App looks like an app. The only way you notice it's Power Apps is at the very top it says Power Apps, but this is a complete Power App. Um, we can come in here, we can edit, you know, we can delete items. So the, the Power App is completely working. Um, I really think this is neat and powerful. This is what a lot of people want. Now, I guess for next steps, what I would do is I would um, create an icon for my shortcut. So I'm just going to go, I'm, I'm going to build off my other videos. I'm going to go to Discord. All right, so I'm in my own Discord. Maybe you have images already, but I don't have images. I'm gonna say imagine icons for um, project management application. And let's see if it comes up with some things that I can use. So I'm, I'm using AI to generate icons for me that I'm going to use in my shortcut. And then I'm gonna be in my organization. I'm gonna have this this ready for me. I'm going to push out this application with its own icon. So you can see we have some icons here generating. I'm going to take one of these and then convert it to, I believe it's a .ico uh, file. Maybe it's .icn, but we're going to make it into an icon file. All right, so we have some icons here. Oh, they're they're pretty neat. I like all of them. I like them. Um, 
Let's do, I kind of like these because they don't have the background. These have backgrounds. I'm gonna do just this one right here. So I'm gonna take this picture. All right, so I have Photoshop. I have my icon. I'm just gonna go in here, take the blue background out, maybe lessen the tolerance to maybe um, 50. There we go. And maybe take out the blue here too. And erase. And this is just with Photoshop. Um, maybe you have different tools to edit graphics, but for me, this is Photoshop. Now I'm gonna save this. All right, so on my desktop, I have Microsoft Edge. I have my new icon that I just saved. So now I'm gonna to go to a site, a website, and I'm gonna convert uh, JPEG to ICO. All right, you can see I now have my icon file. I'll come to the properties, shortcut, change icon, browse, replace it, okay, apply. Now I will just, um, I'm gonna delete the PNG, oops. I'm gonna delete the PMG. So now I have my SharePoint project management app. I have my icon. I can store this somewhere else. Um, run it. Now I have my full power app running in app mode, no title bar. It's running perfectly. I can push this out to all the computers on my, in my network, in my organization. This is really neat, really cool stuff. No longer, it's still gonna prompt me for credentials, so don't worry about that. Like, if you don't have the credentials, obviously my credentials are stored in the cache, so it's just loading right up for me. But uh, these are some ideas, and I saw someone writing all this code to do all this, but you can literally just do this with shortcuts. So, I just, hopefully this was a short video. You can understand how to do this. I do think this is a big thing. I haven't seen many people talk about this. So, my name is Andrew Hess. If you like what you see, Please like and subscribe. Next time, I believe I'm going to work on this um, app and we'll, we'll see about patching the SharePoint list. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.